Mm -hmm. you're going to. Sorry, I forgot to do that at the beginning. Go ahead. That's okay. Um, and that we're, you know, once we get that first person mm -hmm. that we're going to know step by step what we need to do to make this, you know, so our realtor won't say, uh, we're not using you anymore because you don't know what you're doing. That's right. Wonderful question. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you the faces. All right. Because that kind of answers all of your, all your questions. It's probably going to answer a lot of questions for everybody else. All right. So let me jump to the phases real quick. Wonderful question. Um, I've had one other person that has done a previous, you know, like a TC training. I have had one other one come to me that's done that. Um, and um, they're like, there's, I, we didn't know this existed. Like we, I wish I knew this existed. Yeah. Invested in the other thing. Right. Yeah. So, and, Someone uh, that's taking your class, that's doing it now with you. She just, she's the one that told me about you. And I'm like, why didn't you tell me her before, before I spent X, Y, Z with this company that didn't teach me nothing. Right. <laughs> Oh man. So, um, so here we go. I'm gonna walk you through. Can y'all see my screen? I'll walk you through the phases. Um, so here are the phases of Revenation. So it is over the course of a whole year, right? So as you know, um, this is a mentorship, right? So this is in a, a course. Um, so you're not buying something to get modules and be also in a Facebook group. Okay. Does it include modules in a Facebook group? Absolutely, but it's a mentorship. So it's you're not a course student, right? And so I think that's the how you have to di differentiate what I do um, up against whatever it might be in the market to the, to the extent where I haven't seen anything like what we're doing in the market, period. It could be there yeah. hiding. I'm not, Lord knows, I'm not trying to say it's not there. I Girl, I've, it. been, I've been in every group, every... <laughs> Thing, search beyond jumping and I, I you didn't even come up on my searches yeah or because I guess I was putting in transaction coordinators or whatever uh -huh. um it wasn't until the girl that was taking my tax I was teaching a tax course uh -huh. and she's a realtor yeah that she's the one that gave me her transaction coordinator and her transaction coordinator said that she took your course really who was yes. it what's the name do you remember the name um, I'll tell you in a minute. Hold on. Okay. okay. All right. I'll let you look real quick. I want you to be able to see my screen. So I'll give you a pair of seconds. And you can tell me later too. And you don't have to. Yeah. Here it is. Okay. Um, okay. Very good. Well, you know what I'm saying? At least somebody's saying something out here. Um, <laughs> all right. But I want you to see my screen. So Essie, if you need to look for it in a second, you can, okay? Yeah. Her name um, is Kristen. Her name is Kristen. Okay. I know exactly who, who that is. She also homeschools. Yes. And, um, yep. Uh-huh. That's yep. exactly who that is. And the reason why I know exactly who that is, because I personally coach people, right? So I, I know everybody's name just by hearing a little, uh, even their first name, I knew immediately who I assumed it was Kristen, but um, I'm glad that I'm glad we're on the same page. All right. So here we go. Phase one. Phase one is all the things that um, you may have felt like you gotten already, right? So yes. but for everybody else, they still need that component, right? So phase one is when we're doing our name, our LC, doing the bios, we're selecting the services we want to offer um, because I don't just teach transaction coordinating. That is the premier service, but I teach all components of having a real estate VA company because all components help bring about the freedom that you're looking for, right? When you can kind of incorporate all the components. Um, we also do um, your logo, your website, your brochure, right? And go over any software that you might want to be interested in. I started my company without any software. So it's not a requirement, um, but it is something that we go ahead and go over with you if you're interested in doing that. Um, we have weekly live calls. Every single week, there's a live call. Okay, so with the curriculum, you're going to immediately attach it to a live call. So what what that means is you're not going to a week one live call and they're talking about all things throughout the whole mentorship. Are they talking about things from week one through week four? They're only talking about the things in week one. Week two, we're only talking about week two. And of course, you can bring in things from week one. But that is to say is we isolate the live call to be on the curriculum so people can actually get their questions answered, right? They can actually keep the same pace, the same momentum. 
that the mentorship is providing because I, it's a particular time I want to make sure everybody's launched. And so that's the reason why we isolated those live calls for that reason. Uh, we still have uh, uh, monthly calls with me. That's the one that I personally do just by myself. The other ones I co I co coach with the designated phase coach. So Coach Joan is phase one. Um, but I also am on her, her calls, right? Phase two is the transaction coordinator. And, and I'll show you that now is the, is the contract training. This is where we're teaching you everything and dealing with the contract, the real estate terms, parties, the clauses, dates, addendums. And then the, the last few weeks are the TC process, which is where you start to learn. Okay. Once I get that file, this is, this is what I'm going to be doing. All right. We also will give you your state specific contract training. We didn't used to offer that, but I hated everybody's the ones they provided. They were always terrible. OK, they weren't detailed enough, thorough enough for me to spend 30 days on teaching you the contract. I want your spe state specific contract training to match that level of, of, of intensity, to match that level of detail. Right. Um, and so um, at the end of this, you will also unlock your contract coach. So what that means for you is you get to book a call with the transaction coordinator coach at any given time after you've come through this phase. So if you get your first contract, right? As so you get your first contract, even though you're going to see the rest of the mentorship, you can book a call with coach B and say, coach B, I got my first contract. I just, I'm freaking out a little bit. Let me, I just want to walk me through this thing one more time. Right? So she's available for that. It's a one-on-one -on -one coaching call. You can book at any time with coach B. Um, you also have an accountability coach, which is the same coach as phase one is coach Joan. She's your accountability coach to make sure that you're doing what you need to do throughout the entire mentorship. You can book with her as, as frequently as once a week. So coach Joan, you can book with once a week. She's going to say, okay, what you have to get done? Say, okay. I had this, this, and it. did you get it done? Say, yeah, I got most of it done, but I still need to do this. She's going to say, well, let's do it right now. Like coach Joan is a action taker, right? She's going to make sure that you, that you take action. So um, so you have those two coaches by the time you're in phase two, phase three is now we're teaching you listings. So this is your ability and time to be a listing coordinator. Um, when you're a listing coordinator, this is where the home hits the market and you're working with the seller and the, and the agent that's representing the seller during this time, there's no buyer, right? There's no buyer. And then once they have a buyer attached to that home, you're now a transaction coordinator, Prior to it having a buyer, you're a listing coordinator. What that means is if it's one, two, three Main Street, you could be paid twice, right? You can be paid as a listing coordinator and as a transaction coordinator. Of course, I can't do all of that explaining in the masterclass, but I do like to point that out. That's the reason why we spend uh, phase three teaching you all about listing coordinating. Terms, policy, clauses, MLS, which is a huge component. You need to learn how to uh, work in MLS if you're going to be a listing coordinator, dates addendum, and then the actual listing coordinating process. Now to your point, okay, Essie, phase four is all about structure and systems. This is where is I have a contract, now what do I do? This is the very first thing you're going to do. You're going to do your intake form. And not only are we going to tell you that you need to do your intake form, we're going to show you how to set an intake form up, right? Then you need to send out your introductory emails. We're not going to just tell you that. We're going to say, here's all the templates to send your introductory emails. These are the follow-ups you need to do weekly. Here are all the templates for your follow-ups. So it's giving you the step-by-step -step guide to the point there's a drop-down list that we provide you. It's like a 52-point drop-down list that we provide you that you can either drop into your own project management system, duplicate it as a spreadsheet, and just work from there off of a spreadsheet. Put the address at the top and, and work from there. It's up to you however you want to leverage it. But this is where we teach you step-by-step -step what we do all the way until closing. Right. We teach you how to make sure that your name is on the um, the CDA so that you can be paid by the title company and not have to be paid by the agent. And we tell you why. And we tell you if you have no choice and you have to be paid by the agent and they don't seem to want to pay you what you can do about it. So this is the structure and systems is how you run a business around the information we just gave you. So that's phase four um, is our structures and systems. We also give you hiring systems. Um, what we use for client onboarding, um, because in the in the world of of transaction coordinating and, and real estate VA, what happens is they'll say, you know what, Essie, you all right with me? I want to work with you. I want to work with you. And then they sign up with you, and then you're like, all right, come on now, where my <laughs> where my contract at? Right, you waiting on the actual work, right? So there's a there's a system and an experience you want to give them as you onboard them, where they can't wait to send you some work, right? So we do the onboarding system. 
Um, and then a lot of the, we go over our financial system. How do we run the financial operation of our business, right? How do you, let's say you want to hire a transaction coordinator. How do you make sure you keep enough to pay yourself and pay them and have all of the things, right? We teach you the exact system that we utilize. We've utilized for about eight years now after two years of pain, okay? And we put in this system and this, this is what we've done to this day. Um, after that is full launch time. So we do 90 days of sales and launching. This is when we're going over the 6L marketing method. We're doing launching strategies. We're going to be doing client enrollment practice. So that means you're actually on a call just like this. And um, you practice enrolling me into your company as if I was a real estate agent. You'll do that with different client enrollment coaches because what we don't want is you to get an agent on the phone and now you're on your heels and, and you're not prepared for the questions. We don't want that to happen. We want to give get all of those kinks out while you're in the mentorship. So by the time you get somebody on the phone, you can secure them. You never know when you're talking to a well. You never know. And a well of a client means they're a broker or they're a team lead. Are there an agent that is about to go bananas in the market? You never know who you never know who you're talking to. So you can't you can use uh, agents as you're talking to them as practice. Well, let me just you know I'll talk to this agent. If I don't get them, it's okay. I'm gonna be I'm gonna become a better salesperson. If that person is your well, you want to get them um, because times can come up and come down in the market in real estate. What keeps you current is you have certain teams and you have certain brokers where you manage that whole team that's always going to make sure you have stable income, right? So we want to make sure that we show you how to get those people and you practice that in the mentorship. Um, also, you'll see your REVA certification during this phase um, and, any, of course, any additional social media strategies. At this point in the program, these are all the one-on-one -on -one coaches you have available to you. Your accountability coach, your contract coach, your listing coach, and just and because you finished phase four, you now have your systems coach. So your systems coach is the same one. Like you said, it's like, OK, I have a file now. What do I do? Even though we show you that we give you the templates, we have live calls and all that. You still might need to work the kinks out with a one on one. You can always book a call and go through that. Um, and then um, last phase is the scaling and maintenance phase. This is where we are all about. How do we scale? At this point, you're probably hiring a transaction coordinator. What does that look like, right? You might already have a transaction coordinator. You may have two. One is a shining star. How do we make that transaction coordinator your manager, right? To put a to put a layer between you and the team, which starts to create more freedom for you, right? Uh, so we show you how to do that. This is when we teach you the seven streams of income. So how do you take the services you're now offering and have additional streams of income without doing much more than what you're doing already? Um, and then this is really a lot of intensity around leadership development, team development. Um, this is where I am teaching you how to become a CEO, how to be a leader and not just an entrepreneur. Like, how do you have a team you can't lose? Tristan Skiles does the, does the systems, and she's your systems coach in phase four. She's the very first person I hired, right? She's still with me today. I want to show you a lot of the things and tools and resources I use, why that's a thing. It's, it's not a fluke, right? That's <clears throat> it's because it's a certain way that I lead that people don't leave unless it's by God's, whatever God's design, they're not supposed to be with me forever, but it's never going to be because of my leadership. And I want to show you guys exactly what that looks like for you guys as you build your own company. So uh, with that being said, that's my, that's my short version, Essie, to uh, kind of answer your questions um, as far as like, what does this look like as far as the step-by-step, -step, right? Okay. It's you know what I mean? Because it's like, I get what you're saying. It's like, they say, this is what you're supposed to do. Okay. But how do I exact, how exactly do I do that thing? Right. How do I make it something I can just take and do in my, as soon as I get a file. Right. And so that's what we teach you. And then we also create the space where you can have a one-on-one -on -one and still go deeper in that. If you feel like you didn't even grasp everything in, in the portal and in the live calls. Okay. So let me, another question. Sure. So I have a, a realtor because like I said I've been pulling out putting feelers out there um a little bit here and there so sure. I have a realtor that wants me to contact her next week she mm -hmm. has 10 other realtors up under her that's a well so I'm mm -hmm. terrified <laughs> That's why it was like the other night I jumped. I'm like, look, I need to go ahead and book a call with you. I need to figure this thing out right now. Um, uh, okay. So you- Should I put it off or until I sign up? 
you know, and get a couple of weeks up under belts or? When did you already book this call? I haven't booked the call. She told me to call her sometime next week. She told me to reach out to her sometime next week. You can't put it off. So you can't put that off. Um, Because let me tell you why. This is the time of year where they actually have the time to really think these decisions through. And they feel like during the holiday season where they might not be as busy, this is when they want to onboard new team members and have the time to really think and get the systems connected. And this is when, this is a, a really sweet time for agents because they're making those type of decisions because it's going to start to get busy in the spring. It's going to start to get busy in the summer. They want to get all these things kind of worked out right now. So what I would recommend for you We have to have a whole custom strategy for you. So our cohort starts December 4th, okay? That's when our next cohort starts. It's the first Monday of the month. Um, because it's the first Monday of the month, that is too long for you to wait, right? Mm -hmm. Being that you are already kind of doing it in this business, what I would recommend is, is you go ahead and get however you planned on moving forward with us, right? Get that secured. I'm going to have to put you in an advanced group. It's probably the same group Kristen is in, okay? Mm -hmm. Because when I when I can pull together, we have to pull together. First of all, how are you presenting this? You know, do you have a brochure? Are you, are you sending them to their website? Are you presenting this to them like on a Zoom, in person? You don't know? I was just going to get on the phone and, bull, and excuse my language, bullshit my way through it. <laughs> Listen, I closed everybody, most everybody on the phone. So it's it's no, it's no, it's not a problem doing that. Is it just you? Are you the only TC? Yeah. Okay. So, because there's a couple things and I, and this is, we'd have to have a separate conversation. I'll probably have you book a call with me once you get in so we can talk ASAP. Okay. okay. But what I will do, because I don't, I like the other advanced meetings to take advantage of this information. So what I'll probably do is just book the advanced call. And you'll be the, me and you will have this conversation amongst a few of the advanced mentees. It's only about 10 of them, but it's enough where they can give you advice as well. But here's my quick advice to you. Um, call her, right? You could call this person, but you need to, there has to be a few things you can present. There's a way you can do it where the broker or the team lead pays for your services, no matter who uses it in, in on their team. So the broker is going to uh, consume the expense. And the reason why is, as you know this, I am guess I'm explaining this deeper for everybody else. The broker owns the agent, right? So mm -hmm. you're paid by the broker. The broker is going to get their percentage. So they may say, well, my percentage is, you know, 30%. We give the agent 70%, right? Mm -hmm. And that agent out of their 70% has to pay you, right? So you can right. set it up where that your fee, whatever that is, comes out of the broker's percentage or the agent's percentage. The one that's going to make you more money is if it comes out of the broker's percentage because the broker is going to say, no, this is our policy and our procedure. Everybody uses SE. And you have to present what you do as a service that is it keeps them out of trouble legally where everybody needs to use me. Okay. Because I'm auditing, I'm making sure there are no mistakes. I'm making sure you don't get sued. Right. Okay. You don't know what right. these new out here doing. They out here in the in the city signing contracts, not looking it over, and not making sure they're 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 all their eyes are dotted and T's across. And I'm guaranteeing you that that is what I'm going to do for you and all your agents. When you word it correctly, you have the proper posture. Even if she was thinking in her mind, I'm just gonna have the agents use her if they need her. If they don't need her, I'll have it where they don't use her. Even mm -hmm. if that was how she came into the conversation, she will leave that conversation like, shoot, no, she got to do everybody. I got to, I just, I don't, I'm probably just going to have to pay it because she's got to do everybody. And they might create a new procedure starting January 1st, you know, 2024. All, all agents that are under me have to pay a $400 con TC fee, right? Where she technically still not paying it. They have to pay it, but it's not a requirement if they want to be on her team. Right. These are all strategies that you can do where you can guarantee that your well, which is a which is the reason why we call them wells, is because they're well, you know, well fish uh, fish f swim under the well for protection. So right. that's the reason why I would want to 
make sure you posture it that way. And even if you don't, you can say, hey, there's a few, there's, there's several ways that, you know, agents use our service. You can have the agents where they come directly um, to me and they can use me as needed. And I'm just kind of the resident transaction coordinator, or you can have it where they're required to use me. They can be paid by you, or you can add in an additional TC fee where they, they are paid that way. Yeah, most of my clients prefer this option because of X, Y, and Z for legal mm -hmm. purposes, for protection, to ensure that the, the process is followed the exact same way every single time. You want to, you, you know, if they want to make sure that every file is audited, there's not a missing disclosures, they tend to want to just ensure that I'm a required uh, service that every agent's getting. You word it like that, your posture is now shifted from what she thought she wanted to do to what she knows she needs to do. Was that helpful? Yes. Okay. okay. Um, okay. But um, I will write your name down, though, because I don't know that you would be able to wait till the cohort. So we would figure that out. Okay, because I don't want you to let her slide. Now, you want to call her and she may say, hey, let's book some, let's book a call, you know, or you might text say, hey, let's, let's go ahead and book a call. You know, I'm going to tell you about how I feel like we, I'd be able to help you guys. So then, you know, when that call is booked, then we have a, we have at least a deadline instead of this ambiguous, I got to call her next week sometime. We got a mm. deadline of when we know we're having this conversation and we could be prepared for it. Okay. All right. I'll 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 do that. Do on Monday, I'll send her a text message yeah. and see what their schedule, what day we can schedule a, a call. If I could push it out a little bit further, I will. Okay. Okay. And then we'll get on me and you will, we'll talk ASAP so that you'll be ready. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right, Mary, you're up, honey. What questions do you have for me? First of all, I can't believe it's you on the call. <laughs> I get that a lot. They're like, wow, I just knew it was going to be some salesperson or something. Yeah, it's always, always. That's right. why when I came out, I was like, okay. <laughs> so my concern is straight financial. Okay. Um, I, I'm a school teacher, just like, and I stayed to the very end. I saw the video, Kanisha Jones said that she was a school teacher and she came on. That's I right. saw the on stage talking about his mother and how she found a $76,000 to secure the bill. So I really feel like I can do this. I am a school teacher. Um, I lost both my parents. Mm. Um, I found my father lying dead on the kitchen floor. My mother was in hospice for 14 months and I was standing at her bedside when she took her last breath. Mm. Two months before my mother died, I got a call from DSS that my niece is on drugs and she's going to have a baby and we can't let the baby, we can't release the baby to her because of her addiction. And the baby was born addicted. Mm. So I went and got, I went and got my great nephew wow. and I'm raising him. Fun. Mm. Um, I applied to do the PayPal down payment of a thousand dollars and they turned me down and rightfully so um I had a breakdown I was at work one day right after my mom died one of my students lost his mother the guidance counselor sent us an email to reach out to the student as I'm typing the email to I just I I, I lost it. I, I dropped my basket and I was out of work for seven months so my credit is what it is so I understand why PayPal turned me down um, I'm doing the best I can. I don't have any children. I'm doing the best I can raising this little boy. He does have some issues, but God is still good. Um, I want to know how I can um, still do the class. Um, I'll get paid again um, the last day of the month. Mm -hmm. Would I be able to um, pay my $1,000 for my down payment and um still be able to do the 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 five thousand versus seventy five hundred um I think it's three ninety or three ninety five a month three eighty mm -hmm. oh three three eighty okay my stuff is purely financial because um is everything well, you have how long have right. you been back working I've been back at work now six months let's okay. see what my when my parents died, mm -hmm. they sent a mortgage on their house. So I'm paying their $1,300 mortgage a month 
and I'm paying my mortgage. But there's a lot of good. There's a lot of good in this. I am a school teacher, so I do have a degree. Yeah. I love learning. I want to leave a legacy for my little boy. Yeah. Um, but I'm in Charlotte. And I know that this is probably a really great market for this. To right to just be a TC would be awesome. As soon as we got off the call, I started looking at TC classes. Mm -hmm. Like as the early couldn't find anything that was legitimate. So my goal is to be a TC because that three fifty a month will relieve a lot of pressure for me. I know this will go well beyond that, but to me, if I could just have some, I, I need, I can get the thousand up right. and I can do some tutoring after school. I'll have to get somebody to pick the baby up, but I can figure out the 380 a month, but I need till like next week when I get paid again, because I have no savings. I have no emergency funds. You've been out of work that long. I can imagine. Yeah. Okay. So first but of I all, could be, I could be your greatest testimony. Well, let me tell you, you sound like you're already working on one, okay? Um, so, so first of all, just my condolences to losing your parents, and um, I just, yeah, I can't imagine. I haven't had to have that experience yet, so my condolences to you. Um, you can tell they meant a lot to you, so um, I just, I pray supernatural strength, right? Because you, it seems like you have a lot you're having to figure out, right? Helping with your nephew and he may be with you for a very long time, right? Which is probably probably a good thing, right? That he'll be with you for a very long time. So, um, uh, so I would say this: uh, absolutely, would extend the fast action to you until you're able to pay your deposit. Absolutely, that's not even a question. Um, so I want you to be able to get through, you know, and you being able to do it financially. And um and it being a good time, it's, especially if you feel like you could handle the monthly payments. That's always the thing is I just want to make sure people feel like they can handle that because I, I never want to come into a time where um, it's stressful and you can't get to. So what I didn't mention was most people launch at the end of the systems and structure phase. That's phase four. Right. So as of your course, your situation is different because you're already pretty much launched, you know, you really need just the structure and strategy and all that. So that's why we'll create a different path for you. Most people launch it month four. So you at least need to be able to cover the mentorship, right? Until that month so that you can actually learn and you, you're not prematurely bringing on clients and you get a well of a client and you can't steward the well of a client and you lose the client, right? We want to make sure you're ready for them. So I said that to say, we can extend a fast action um, you know, just, um, um, I'll let Shirley know typically what she'll do is she'll block it out in the system and she'll already go ahead and send you an invoice. So that way, when you have it, you can just pay the invoice. If something happens for whatever reason, just let us know the same number that calls you or texts you. You can, if you can text that number back. So just let us know, just keep us updated. Um, if you feel like this is something you can thrive at, you already, that's, I said, if you are listening to this and you're like, man, I could do this. That's how it was when I read Virtual Assistant in the book. I felt like the words, honey, came off the page and I could see myself in the future. I was like, I, I would be so good at this. Like, that's how I felt. So me niching down to real estate came later, but just the idea of working from home and, and helping people, um, First off, my personality, I am a, I'm an introvert, but I also thrive on, on helping people. So it was just like this perfect blend of, a, of opportunity. And so if it's like, if you feel the same way, it's never my job to make it hard for you to get in rejuvenation. I think it's going to benefit you, not just professionally, but personally, right? Because we do a lot of personal development. We introduce the uh, DISC assessment. Um, it's a very powerful resource that we I utilize. It's how I develop my teams. It's how I hire um, it is how I develop myself is how I, uh, make decisions as a wife and a mom. Like it is a phenomenal resource. And the same gentleman that trained me trains you guys. He does a call once a month with you guys. And he does an introductory call with you the very second week you're in the mentorship. And I know you say, what does that have to do with real estate? Nothing. Okay. But if it helped me, I want to give it to y'all. Cause it's going to help y'all. Right. 
Because I think what I what people fail to do is they create these courses and things that teach people how to do a thing, but not be the person that can do the thing for the long haul. And so we are we thrive on on giving you enough personal development where you can actually be the person that can lead, right? And not just have a company that you wouldn't have the mental capacity to to steward well for the long haul. So so anyway, I'm excited to have you. I already can tell you're going to be great. I congratulate you in advance and all the things. You're going to be have a con- powerful testimony. You are going to um, you're going to make your parents very proud. You're going to make them very proud, and you're going to be able to create a life for your nephew that he never would have had without you. You're going to be able to create a life and ease for him. You're going to create ease for him he wouldn't have had outside of your presence. Thank you. He was put with you by design. It was not a mistake or happenstance. So I'm excited for you. Thank you. Ding. I'm gonna see you in the end. Okay. Ding. I'm locked up in my bathroom because that's the only place. That's I right. <laughs> that's right. He's two. He's, and he's two. a man. Aww, I have my little baby too. Okay, well, I guess you'll meet him soon. Okay, okay. I, I still got a, uh, I still got call the uh, Darlene's questions. Yeah. So you hang on, maybe King will yeah. come say hi to me. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, you. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, Darlene. I don't know if you can uh, hear me, um, but you are up. Any questions for me? Hi. Good afternoon. Um, wow, this is inspirational, enlightening, and all of that. So um, my question is, I know that someone at the end of the call the other day uh, talked about uh, cost per LLC. So that's one of them. And then just kind of a a guesstimate about additional resource costs, because we're talking about software and, you know, just different other outside um, uh, items that need to be a part of, you know, doing business. So if you can enlighten me on some of those things. Absolutely. So uh, I have it pulled up here because I always get asked this. You and oh, I see him. Let's say hi. Everybody say hi to King. Um, <laughs> so um, he's too handsome. So uh, so anyway, the additional expenses outside of Revenation, um, they there are some, but they're uh, they're not a lot, right? But there are some, right? So actually, getting your LC, we don't uh, cover that. Um, your LC is uh, we have a. Corey is Corey Jack is who you can book a call with. He does host a complimentary call where if you kind of have one that you're sitting on a shelf or you, you know, that kind of stuff and you want to see if it's best that um, you utilize that one. But if you just want to have your LC filed, um, he's one that you can book a call with and, and ask your questions for. But the filing of the LC is a cost that we don't cover. Um, we do provide you with your full website. But the hosting of the website you would have to cover is 150 for the year um, with this with the uh, company we use. So you pay 150 pay for the year, and you don't pay it until you're ready to launch. So you might get into the mentorship now. You're not ready to launch to launch three or four. That's when you would be you'd be making that payment at that time. Um, e and O insurance. So this is errors and omissions insurance. Uh, this is an insurance that we all, we recommend every uh, transaction coordinator have listing coordinator. Now, if you're doing just marketing for the client, then it's kind of unnecessary. But when you're dealing with contracts and putting things in MLS and all those kind of things, if you make a mistake, right? I've had, you know, insurance since I've had my company, I've never filed a claim, right? So I will say that it's not like it's normal, but you never know, right? It's that's the reason what insurance is for just in case, right? So you never know. So if you ever are sued or they say, hey, you made a mistake and this cost us X amount of money and we think you should pay it, then it protects your LLC. Your LLC is already going to protect your personal um, assets, but a e- E&O insurance protects even everything else inside of your LLC. So we recommend that you get that. Um, I pay like 70 bucks a year. Like it's really low. But then again, I've had my business for a long time. I haven't filed a claim. So yours may be a little bit more if you're new, but it still is it's worth the price because it's typically not a lot and you can pay annually for that. Um, and then also with the website, the domain for the website. So that's actually your www dot whatever you're going to have. Um, you need to pay for that. It's like 20 bucks for the year. We use GoDaddy. A lot of people use GoDaddy. Um, and so those are the expenses. LLC, the hosting and domain of your website, and then securing e insurance. The good thing too about these these other expenses is you don't have to necessarily have them all secured until right before you're about to launch, 
right? So that does help um, in that regard. You mentioned software, but software is not a requirement. I ran my business for two years without any software. I'm working off of Google Sheets, Google Docs. I set up my entire intake system in Google products that are free. And I teach you that exact system, right? So you don't have to pay for anything additional unless you so desire. Now we use uh, a software and we show you that software and show you how to set it up your business in there if you want to. But we didn't do that for a few years. So um, while it may be a, an additional expense, it's not required. You know, the expenses I listed are, uh, are I guess, not required for you to get e &L, But for me as your coach, I would be like, you need to get e &L, right? I want to make sure you're protected. Um, but, um, but those are the ones outside of the mentorship. Everything else, uh, we provide logo, website, marketing materials, all that we provide to you. You are amazing. Oh, you. Um, and everything that you've built along with all of your support, because we know that, you know, again, anytime you're doing something of this magnitude, definitely you have to have more than two, two, <laughs> two hands to do this. So my last question would be, so for me now I am, uh, currently, I guess I'm on uh, module five and, and I have one more module to go. Um, I was actually uh, taking coursework for real estate and I'm oh, also in Texas. So it was great to hear that, you know, again, right. you can speak from directly speak from right. the, the perspective of Texas. So I'm here in Dallas, Texas. Um, I, for me, I was looking at, okay, I got a lot on my plate. Is there an opportunity to start more like in January February, something like that, because that's about the time that I should be finishing um, my stuff. coursework. Mm -hmm. So right now we have two cohorts open. It's this December 4th cohort, and we do have a January 8th cohort, right? So you could start in the January 8th cohort. Um, and so um, that is an option. Now, the we would just have to figure out. So if you wanted to secure your spot for January 8th, if you want, we would just need to make sure that we protect you with the fast action. If mm -hmm. not, um, because in the system, it's going to it's going to have the fast action expire at midnight tonight. So okay. um, so you can let us know which cohort you want to start in. And then from there, we can put you in the system and kind of put you on hold to when that is. OK, so that would be, let's say, I, you know, by the end of today, I'd pay my thousand dollars down and then I can set it up to where hopefully we just kind of maybe say start the payments in January when I start the cohort is that correct and i'm going to send you the email to send that to support okay Kristen manages that email so support at tiffanyhaynesco.com i just dropped it in the chat okay um, it just popped that's up would, mm -hmm, that's what you would email and say hey um i'm securing my spot for the january 8th cohort and then they'll put you on hold there they won't charge you anything additional they still will probably give you access to the welcome portal and um, have you schedule your orientation if you want to. Some people would like to wait closer to when the start date is so the stuff's fresh on their mind. So you can decide to wait if you want, but they will reach out for a few things just to give you the opportunity if you wanted to, but we, we would start you in a January 8th cohort. Okay. And then how, do, how does all of this work with, you know, as far as meeting with others? Because I, I, I'm like anyone else. I have a, I call it a nine to five. It's really right. a whatever. That's right. <laughs> I, That's work, right. I work until, or I don't work until whatever. Yeah. But but um, so how does this work with meeting, you know, with your, your coaches and things of that nature? So That's my one, last question. Sure. No, no, it's a great question. So coach Joan does meetings on weekdays and the weekends, because we do have a lot of people that are, you know, uh, working a nine to five or corporate job or of some sort. So um, there are opportunities to meet with the coaches after hours and on the weekends. Um, and then, but our our live coaching classes are kind of during the weekday on Thursdays, but they are uploaded into the portal within 24 hours. So if you can catch it live, great. If not, it's right there within 24 hours. And what we've had too is some people say, hey, I'm not gonna be able to catch it live, but here's my question. We'll answer it for you on the call live. So you can always go back and watch it. And if we miss something, a component that you would have been able to clarify for us live, that's when you can, you know, book a one-on-one -on -one coach or just reach out to the coach directly. We're all in Telegram. All the coaches are there and you can also message them and stuff with any clarifying questions. So there's ways of, there's ways around it. Absolutely. How long do those sessions last? The live coaching calls are normally about an hour. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And I work from home. So, and I, oh, so yeah. I have a lot of freedom in that schedule. So okay, well then, that's yeah, good to know as well. Good. Absolutely. Absolutely. Very good. Thank you. Any more questions? All right. I saw Essie, your hand went up. 
You got a question for me, hon? Okay, I got you. I see you coming. Okay, <laughs> sorry, I had to unmute myself. Um, ENO, in ENO, if I have my ENO through for my taxes and for my notary, do I need to get extra? I would add, just call them and add, have them add this business to it. Add, okay. Mm -hmm. So right. you would call them. So if this is under, unless this is all under your LLC umbrella, you know, if it's a separate LLC or something you're doing outside of it, I would call and add it just to make sure, you know what I mean? Yeah. That is protected. Yeah, this business would be up under my umbrella. It would be, uh, so it's under the same LLC that you do the notary out of? Um, is it be under my corporation? Yeah. Okay. Do so you, my umbrella is my corporation, and I have my other two LLCs underneath that. And your and your E and O insurance is on the corporation. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then your okay, and the LLCs are under that. And then are your businesses listed on the E and O inf, you know doc or whatever? Are your businesses itemized and listed? Do you know? No. Okay, well, then you might be okay. If they're listed and this isn't listed, then you might be, you see what I'm saying? So I would call mm -hmm. just to be sure. Just to be sure? Okay, um, will do. Your tip ain't no insurance person. I just, <laughs> you know, so I'm just trying to go off of what seems logical, but that, you know, with insurance, depending on who you have, they're looking on ways not to pay the claim, right? So right. you want to make sure at least your stuff is in black and white and in, in there how it should be. But it sounds like you should be good or at least, Adding it shouldn't be, you know, much of a additional expense to you, if that makes sense, you know. Right. right. And then my next question is that everybody that's on the on the call right now, um, we still have the option to do the five the the fast action. Fast action is before twelve o'clock tonight. Right. Fast action is good till midnight. Um, and and with uh, Mary, we've extended that for you. Um, you know, per your request, but the fast action is good till midnight. Absolutely. And I'm going to try because I'm sort of like in Mary's situation with financial. I'm going to try PayPal and see what they say. But if I can't, if PayPal denies me. Um, you guys, this too. Hold on. Let me send you this. Um, we have, um, I don't know if you've, have you guys applied with ease at all? No. Okay. So they have a guaranteed approval program that um, they only, we have to go through a process to get it. You have to have a, you know, a real coaching program. You have to talk to your mentees. They have to see your bank accounts. Like it is a very tedious process to get guaranteed approval with this lender. But we do have a program that is, they offer guaranteed approval. So I'm going to drop the link for that application. It's a soft pool. Okay. So it doesn't hit your credit. And, um, and um, the only thing you have to put down is your down payment is your first payment, right? So if your payments are 380, your for, your down payment is 380 right so it makes it a little bit more digestible um for people um and so i can send you that they also offer uh 12 months same as cash so you know where their interest rate is higher than ours what's good is it's not if you can pay it off in 12 months like you know what i mean so um it, it does have an option for you to do that and so if if you have the the strategy to be able to do that in 12 months, then you wouldn't even have to pay anything extra over that. So there's that link with ease. Um, we just got approved for that. We've probably had it a few weeks now. So uh, so your timing is great there. So if if that's helpful to you guys, you can definitely explore that option as well. So with okay. that, so how would you guys then deduct the monthly payments? Would that, we put that It would be with ease. They're, they're a third party financing company. So um so there so everything would be through ease it, right. it would be your down payment and then also your monthly payments and if you can do the whole five thousand in 12 months then yeah, you, it's you, same you, as cash right. oh, perfect yeah mm -hmm. it's, a, it's just, really a great program um and then with that one as well um they notify us when you apply so as long as you apply before midnight it will secure the fast action price for you cool yeah so yeah, great. To, uh, happy to present that now. Um, any more questions? Any more questions for me? And the email that you put in there, um, I that's how I can direct directly contact you with mm -hmm. something okay. comes up. 
And to uh, SE, uh, text back that number, I they show up like notifications on my phone too. Like, oh, okay, so text that back and say, Hey, Tiff, you know, this is in and it, it's me, Shirley, Tristan, and Kenneth. We all have access to it, so you know, one of us will see it right away. They'll either let me know, Hey, did you check this? or I'll see it first and respond. So, yeah, we'll always, it's always a few people there ready to help you if you text that number. Okay, I'll go ahead and see what the financing says and go from there and then reach out to you. Perfect. All right, perfect. All right. Thank um, you. You're welcome. Well, thank y'all for spending this holiday week with me. Um, I'm not necessarily in the office today, but I was like, they're like, you want somebody else to do your Q&A? Nope, I will do my own Q&A. Thank you. I'll, I'll pop I, in. I appreciate it. Yes. It was a pleasure to meet everyone. Yes. Thanks. Guys were an awesome group. Awesome, awesome group. I, I hope to see you all on the other side. I tell you what, um, if your decision is moving with Reva Nation, I congratulate you in advance. If not, I pray whatever your hands touch, turn to gold. Thank you for spending your Black Friday with your girl. And I'll talk to you. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Bye bye. Blessings. Bye.